<sighs> what did Sir Bobby Robson mean to you? Oh dear, everything, I think. What a man, a great man. I think he changed the lives of so many people in Suffolk with the fantastic football that was played here during his time and continued afterwards. But um, he just seemed to have everything, so enthusiastic about everything. And he was a very caring man. He cared about everybody. He cared as much for the young apprentices and the ground staff people as he did for his senior international players. Yes, he's obviously missed a lot by everybody. Um, I came as a, a young boy in, on trial when I was 14, um, signed an apprenticeship when I was 15, and it went on from there. And so, so Sir Bobby was really a, a father figure as far as bringing me up as a, a footballer and as a person. So I um, had many, many good years, um, 14 years, uh, Ipswich, 12 under Sir Bobby, and um, he gave us every opportunity to progress in my football career. Bobby Robson meant everything to me when I first came to the club. I was a supporter, I used to watch him on the sidelines, watch the team, European matches, and to be in the same building as him and to be under his tutelage and expertise was just the best you could ever have. Um, I always like to think of him as, as being sort of the sort of father of the club and the way that he used to guide people. And the best thing is when, if you, when you played in his sides, when you, when you played for him, and I was lucky enough to play for Ipswich and for England with him, when you came back into the changing room after you've won, after the game, the very thing you wanted to hear from, from the gaffer, from Bobby, was praise. Well, he was very much a down-to-earth sort of person, really, in as much as he had, a, he had such a small squad, but then he could identify with everybody, really, and um, obviously knew everybody's family and that, so it, it was very much a family club at the time. It was down to him that basically I left Glasgow to come, because uh, I knew how good he was. But it wasn't just the football things, and he made my career the best it's up, you know, any football I could dream about. It wasn't just that. Off the field, he'd, he'd done loads of things for me. And I'd lost my mum and dad at an early age, so he was like a, a father figure to me. And as I say, so basically off the field or on the field, he was the best and he always will be. Well, so Bobby was responsible for me getting into football for the way that um, my life suddenly had a direction uh, involved in sport and the way that my life went from that moment onwards from uh, 15 years old to where I am today. We like to think that coming to Ipswich Town Football Club develops you as a man. Um, obviously you know you come as a, as a young boy very inexperienced very naive um, not not professional but then you got taught, you taught all about the professional side of the business and Bobby knew everything about it. He knew everything about the football club and he knew everything about you as well, your family and you know, where you came from, what you did and you know, what you wanted to do. He was just, just the perfect manager really. And so Bobby had looked after everything. He was first to the ground, he was last to leave, he got involved in everything um, with Ipswich Town and made it into the fabulous club it was. He, he showed faith in me, that was basically it really, I mean, I was never a very confident person anyway and I was always my biggest critic, but um, he, he gave me the chance to actually prove that I could play, you know, first division football. When Bobby came to the club, he, he, he just sort of built the teams and built teams that were going to be probably, arguably, the 81 team in my opinion, one of the best teams in, in Europe. Well, I don't know if I was to ask him, I would say, did you get fed up with me? Because I had 14 years in succession with him uh, as a player at Ipswich Town Football Club and obviously as a player for England as well later on. So he couldn't get rid of me. Perhaps I was like a bad smell just hanging around him, I don't know. But he was, he was a wonderful guy and I saw him mature as well from the early days at Ipswich, you know, through 76 all the way through to 82 and then obviously on to that great um, World Cup effort in Italian 90. He enjoyed communicating with people and sharing that passion that he had for the game and whether you were a star player, whether you were one of the run-of-the-mill players, a squad player, he still managed to 
uh, impose his passion for the game onto you. And wherever you were, whenever you spoke to him about football, you could see his, his eyes just light up and see the passion for the game in there. Well, his memory continues and he was um, a fantastic person, a um, great manager. And then once you meet Bobby, you never, never forgot him. Um, so his memory lives, lives on and on. I am really thrilled to think that we're going to pay tribute to him in this way. His name will never be forgotten at Portman Road, but I think it is important and I'm pleased and hope that the um, fans will respond in the way very often they still do, chanting, there's only one Bobby Robson.